We are Nigel and Sue, and we've spent the last two years travelling Australia in our self-converted camper van. This is part two of our Exploring Australia's Southwest series, where we show you the highlights and hidden gems of the southwest corner of Australia. We stay in free camps and wild camps along the way and show you what it's really like to live in a van full time. In this episode, we leave Bustleton and head west towards Donsborough. We visit several beautiful beaches around Eagle Bay. We get blown away by the lighthouse at Cape Naturalist before heading over to Yelling Up to check out some of the amazing rock pools. We've come now to the beach at Bunker Bay. There's flags here, so beach is patrolled. The colour of the water is just beautiful. We've been to the beach. Nigel had a swim. It's a bit cold. Now we are going on a little bit of a tiki tour around the area, following our friends Pasco and Gabby. So they are here working now in Dunsborough or Eagle Bay. They're going to show us some of the cool beaches. So this is Mealup Beach. It's a super busy, popular beach. Obviously very busy today being a hot Sunday. Lots of families here, but there's plenty of facilities, barbecues, toilets, etc. So the really cool thing about these beaches is that there is a walking trail that runs between them. So if it's very busy and the car parks are full, you can simply park at one and walk between them. Seriously guys, if you've ever wondered why we love this lifestyle living in a van so much, this is why. Moments like this. Here yeah, we were just saying, it's just a bit of local knowledge right now. You know, we wouldn't have found these places but for Pasco and Gabby showing us around here. It's so beautiful. We took the back road shortcut to Pasco and Gabby's work, which is a winery. Our favourite corrugations. So we're just arriving at Wise Eagle Bay Winery. Now this is apparently the only winery that has an ocean view. Cheers guys. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you so much for inviting us to your workplace. Look at this view. Mm. I'm just drinking a Shiraz gin. Is it good? Uh, yeah, really good. Where's the color? I don't know, it's crazy. It's and I have the um, the house bubbles, winery bubbles. It's not house, is it? Wise. We had a really lovely afternoon with our friends and then came to where we thought we were going to stay tonight. It's a bit of a stealth spot and unfortunately someone else is already there and there's only really room for one. And they had two big dogs. So we've kind of come to this beach spot. It's like pretty sus. We would not normally stay somewhere like this, but it's after seven o'clock and we really don't have anywhere else to go and we've got no reception, so we can't even really check the map. Anyway, the sun's about to set and it looks really awesome. And and Nigel's making dinner. Go Nige. Mm. Pretty awesome sunset, pretty awesome place. Hopefully we don't get a fine. Good morning friends, it's bright and early. We woke up this morning and there were three other, no, four other vehicles there, weren't there, Nigel? Yeah. Yeah. Unofficial camp spot, but anyway, so we got up early and left early. 
We've come up now to check out the Cape Naturalist or Naturalista or I don't know how to say it. Lighthouse. Naturalist. How does it go? Naturalist. Oh god, that bloody fly just flew into my mouth. If you want to go inside the lighthouse you have to do the guided tour. This was the last lighthouse that was still operated by a person. So it was only in 1996 that it became automated. We walked inside the lighthouse where we saw the mechanics of how it works and we also got to check out the views from the outside. So we're at the top, we're about to step outside the lighthouse. It's super windy here though. Oh! And I banged my head. We quarried the limestone blocks to build this lighthouse. Uh, then they would have used the block. It's so windy! <laughs> Good morning. So we're in this area now called Slippery Rock at Yelling Up. We were up a little bit further around there at a car park called Rabbits. Um, and we've just come back down here to get a bit of a closer look. The plan for today is to head down the coast from Yelling up towards Margaret River. There's a whole bunch of like really cool little beaches, lookouts, rock pools, and we're going to try and explore quite a few of them. We've come now to Smith's Beach. This is a beautiful looking beach. We're going to go for a walk along the beach. First beach walk in a while. It's a really beautiful beach. Very windy and quite chilly this morning though. This is obviously the boogie boarding spot. This spot that we've come to is called Canal Rocks. There's actually a boat ramp here, so it's nice because there is nice long parks. And there's a little walkway that goes out. Okay, okay, the straw has broken the camel's back. I'm just commenting just how over the top the uh, safety connotations are. And, and look, here's another um, footbridge risk area. Can you believe it? Is it, is it quite risky out there? No, nah, not too bad, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a one today. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bridge. In a big yes. storm, I think it might be. Better. Yeah. <laughs> it just seems to be here, particularly in WA, um, that we're taken for complete idiots, imbeciles. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's over the top. So we're walking down the dangerous footbridge now. Hold on, Nige. This actual bridge is so busy, it's like single file only, so everybody's actually lining up to cross. Is... Are we going to go across, Nigel? Down to Tooting, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling risque. Oh, look at that bloody spray over there. Pretty awesome, isn't it? Look at that. Woo! Hold your hats. Oh, pretty cool. So Nigel's going off to snorkel. 
reckon it's too cold. I'm not going. Have fun. A little bit chilly. I am so glad Nigel took one for the team here. After all the amazing snorkeling in Exmouth, there really wasn't that much to see here. So here we are in Margaret River in the middle of one of the most prolific wine producing regions in Australia. And today we're going to a brewery. This is called Black Brewery, the Black Brewing Company. And it was recommended by, I can't remember who, on Instagram. We put a call out for recommendations for this area and this was one of them. So we ended up with a tasting paddle of six. Let me see, we've got a session ale, which is a low alcohol, a hazy pale, an IPA, a hazelnut affogato stout, a blueberry elderflower sour, and a gin blueberry cocktail. So this second beer we're trying is the Hazy Pale Ale. Um, we're really getting into hazy pales at the moment. We had some really beautiful ones when we were in New Zealand. We'd never really drank them before in Australia. This is good. I reckon that's gonna be my favorite. So we've done our paddle, and as we suspected, our favorite was the Hazy Pale. The rest were okay. The last, the gin cocktail was nasty. <laughs> so Ribena. We didn't even finish it. And that's like in our mouths. So we had to go back and get another hazy to Only fair. wash and, the taste and, and, out. And it's very nice. It's, it's really so good. good. Mm, that's so good. Yeah, that's lovely. Very fruity. Mm. Morning friends, we've come quite early this morning to the Injamup Spa Pool. Uh, sadly, there's already a bunch of other people that are just heading down, it's so we just have to do a little quick repair work on our drone too. It's not flying very well. So it's a little bit of a treacherous walk down over these rocks. Not too bad just here, but I think it's gonna get a bit worse. How's the irony? Now we get here and the tide is so low, there's barely any water coming into the pool. So where I'm walking, it's quite wet sand. So in a higher tide, there would be plenty of water here. Uh, so this is Sue's turn to take one for the team. <laughs> I call it, I'm not quite sure what she's up to, where she's going. That was so much fun. Oh, this is such a cool spot, guys. It was quite warm enough in the water, thankfully we've had a good day today. I'm too freezing. No, no, I'm fine. All right, let's go back to the van. So it turns out we weren't at the actual spa pool because we've just found it on the walk back to the van. Now we feel like really silly. Um, the one that we went to was really nice, but Nigel's just gone back to get his swimmers on and we're both going to have a swim in this one now. By the time we got to the next pool it was packed so we decided to come back again the next day. We are back at the Injured Up Natural Spa. Um, it's not such a great day today, it's a bit cloudy. So here's where we made the mistake, when you get to this fork... So we went down there past where that orange ring is. Turn right at the um, life ring. There's uh, Sue and the couple that got ahead of us. There she is. <laughs> I know, I told you. Like a mountain goat. <laughs> it was still a bit cloudy when we first arrived, but we hung around for a while and eventually the sun came out and we had a few moments where there were no crowds. This was bliss.
Thank you. Thank you from the landers. That was so good. Oh, that was wicked. How about these fish? Wow, that was incredible. We're actually feeling a whole lot better now as we've discovered that there are a whole lot of other people that went down to the pond today. So we're not the only ones that made that innocent mistake. Epic spot for our breakfast this morning. So we're making a protein green smoothie. Banana. Mm. It's got banana, avocado, Spinach, lime juice, protein powder, peanut butter. It's just delicious and really good for us. I don't need to... Yeah, quite invigorated after that sparse one. Now warmed up. Yeah, it was really good. <laughs> it was fun. We had, and we had the whole place to ourselves in the end, so our patience paid out. Definitely. Smoothie up. How's this for a breakfast view? We hope you enjoyed this episode. Join us next time when we visit another spectacular rock pool, take a coastal hike to a waterfall, and stay at one of the most unique campsites we've ever stayed at. Thanks for watching. See you next time.